So in Grounded, there are secret chests, and there are keys to unlock these chests, and I have found several chests, and I have found one key, the Minotaur key. But I haven't found the Mossy key, which is in the pond, and I haven't found the Melted Boat key, which is in the sandbox somewhere. So today, I'm going to find those keys, but you know what? Not just show you where I find these keys and how to find them, but I'm going to help out anybody who is maybe just now tuning into my Grounded videos where I found the Minotaur key. So... Let's go find the bossy key, where the Minotaur key was, and the Melted Boat key all in one go. Now, one thing we're going to do is, of course, avoid the Koi, but I'm also wearing my bubble helmet because uh, I'm under the impression this is going to be in the deep, deep pond, which means we need a lot of oxygen to get down here uh, and help us move around. Now, I got a threat coming after me. Well, that's just great. This is the uh, location right here. You see there's the sunken T-Rex. So you want to come to this little spot here, right here. Just got, you know, uh, you see the field station, the, the bird bath there. It's straight over here. And we're just going to dive down. You'll know it when you see the spot with the bubbles coming out. And, of course, then the T-Rex. So now we'll head down this way back towards the pond lab. See what I can find. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take the advantage of digging some bones while I'm down here. And Koi Scales, you know, can't pass up on the Koi Scales, too. So for reference, I am here at the end of one of the spots where you can go in for the beginning part of the Pond Lab where you have access. There is the middle bay door, and this is the last of the little uh, lighting over here. And just to the side of this... Right here, it's kind of, you have to get a little low to see it. There is an opening. And this cave leads a good distance back. It's got some diving bell spiders in it. I've already killed one of them. And got some O2 back, which means you don't have to worry about running out of your oxygen so readily. And this one, he seems to have been, like, dancing or something. I don't know if that was, like, a mating dance or what. But he seemed to be shaking his booty at me for some very strange reason. Further and further. Okay, we got... An oxygen spot here. Oh, a bunch of, bunch of them. Okay, at least they're pretty, uh, you know, easy to deal with. So we got this. Loop around. Okay, there's some clay, some roots. Okay, this is not leading out. It seems into the other area. So there's something here that I am supposed to find. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a mossy key. With a skull on it, which is pirate key, because it looks like a pirate chest. So right next to that piece of clay, right in the middle. Yeah, I kind of missed it. I thought it was just, like, you know, part of the terrain. Uh, there you go. There's the mossy key. And I just got to get out of here and let's go to the mossy chest. And now, if you haven't found the chest, you actually went right past it, where there is the T-Rex right there in the distance. And as you hit the water jets, you swing through here. Here is the chest right here. So, yeah, uh, not hard to find from the T-Rex itself, just right in there. You have to go further to get the actual key itself. And now I got Sunken Outpost, Burgle Chip, and a Mega Milk Bowler. So I, I guess that's cool. So I am here at the Leaning Shovel, which you, you can go different ways. Uh, the way I like to do it is come from the pond over here by the Franken Line. Basically find the Franken Line, make my way over to... Right around here, where you'll find that mixtape that's leaning up against a big, you know, to us, boulder. It's just honestly a rock. And then come over here to the lean shovel. I'm using the lean shovel as a reference point because even if you knocked it over, it's a pretty noble landmark right next to the picnic table. And you see from here, there is a little waterway right here. And that is where the exposed pipe is. We're going there to get the Minotaur key. This is actually not that far away from the shovel, so you don't have to go too far. It's not a big trip. And basically, you come into the exposed pipe. There'll be stuff on each end to grab, but what you're going to do is go to the right end. You'll see the you know slime mold there glowing all nice and pretty. You come over here. Again, I've already got this, but what there will be is some... Um, vines or roots that you need to use a knife or some kind of underwater weapon to slash and then you'll find the minotaur key in here and the minotaur chest is on the picnic table and it's kind of the big theme 
of the picnic table. And to save you time, if you need to know how to get the shovel to fall over because it's still standing upright, you will need an explosive, the uh, prot to burst, and there's a rock that is right behind the shovel. You blow it up, shovel falls over. Now you can run up the shovel to get onto the picnic table. Just be prepared to fight some bees as you make your way up. So if you want to see the whole process of getting on the picnic table and doing all that, going through the Minotaur maze, I will, I'll link it below in the description and, you know, in the card up here because I can't remember the what episode number it was, but I'll put that there in case you are somebody that needs to know how to go through all that. It's actually not that complicated, just a lot of bees to fight. Now, this is kind of a bad time to be here. It is daytime and almost midday. So it's really hot here, but fortunately I do have my sizzle protection with the antlion armor. But the other important thing is you're going to need the tier two shovel for this, the black ant shovel. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that glint, buried treasure. Again, you have to have the level two shovel, the black ant shovel for this. And okay, that's all it was, just salt. Uh, Every time I eat aphid, it pretty much seems he says, hmm, salt. I think I'd have enough salt already. Yeah, probably something good to do at night if you don't want to be standing around waiting for a little sparkle to appear. Another ice cat mint. Which is fine. I got, I mean, you know, more the barrier. No, I was just thinking. Uh, the whole fact that it's glinting at you is a, supposed to be a factor of glinting in the sunlight and i'm thinking i don't remember seeing the treasure glint at night so maybe you do have to come during the day and just make sure you have sizzle protection so you know get antlion armor oh man uh rummage through a person's skeleton biomedical engineer okay best and brightest what point the intern <laughs> what the point of the intern is okay i'm hoping i'm not like slowly cooking alive in the sandbox while I'm reading this. And we got a biomedical badge. Okay. And I just, that that is in the little paw print area, uh, right here in the corner near the umbrella, just right there. Yeah, I no longer see any glinting anywhere. And I refuse to believe that I've already dug up all the treasure. So it must be, of course, a thing that there has to be sunlight for it to glint. So yeah, I guess I'm going to be waiting until morning. Oh, or, you know, I, I could just stumble across it because there is no glint, but I was just kind of my head down and, you know, buried treasure. So just keep, keep your head down. That's all you got to do. Ignore the enemies. And oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Melted boat key. There we go. All right. Well, you know. It's melting because it's in the hot sandbox. Now, I just got to go towards the sandcastle over here. Treasure chest is actually back here at the back side of the boat towards the edge of the sandbox. Uh, just so if you want to save time instead of swimming the whole thing, just run to the edge like I did there and jump in. Now we got melted boat key to this. Let me get in here. Regular milk bowler. Seems like that would be... Uh, oh, particularly deadly weapon. Uh, waterlogged recipe. Okay. Salt morning star. Oh, I got a bunch of salt. So that's how you get the three keys, at least that I know of so far, in the game. The mossy key, the mantar key, and the uh, melted... Mel melting boat key. That's it. Melted boat key. Uh, and where the chests are, really not that bad. Uh, the melted boat key, a little bit more problematic because there's so many more places to look uh there that just you're looking for a key you know but uh yeah that's it and now i'm gonna go turn this uh chip into burgle the burger man and uh yeah let's see auxiliary chip what do i get okay new recipes and what well, got that splat burst okay Sticky substance attaches to the first thing it hit, so it's a brat burst, but it's it's sticky. It's a sticky bomb. And then fin flops upgrade. I haven't, I'm not even using the fin flops right now. Diving lantern upgrade, definitely gonna get that though. Once again, that is the three.
keys that I currently know about for the game. Three chests I've found so far. If there's a fourth one, if there's a fifth one, if there's a 15th chest and key combination, I will eventually find them. And if you were looking for those keys and you found this video and it helped you find the key you were missing, then leave a like and leave a comment below. Let me know what helped you out. And I'll, I'll try to do similar videos for the other keys.